plaintiff, Tiffany Greer, says she dated the defendant's son on and off for over a year, and she believes he's her child's father. Tiffany claims after she gave birth to the baby, the defendant's son asked for a DNA test, but he was killed before they could take one. So Tiffany petitioned the court for a paternity test. Defendant Emma Arnold says before her son passed, he told her that he had doubts about being the child's father because around the time Tiffany conceived, they had participated in an orgy and Tiffany also worked as a stripper. Emma is eager to find out the truth today. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Me and Miss Emma Arnold's son, his name was Jermaine, but I call him Zul, so I'm gonna call him Zul. Um, we was in a relationship. Uh, we was off and on um, as a result of the relationship. How long? Uh, a year and a half, what not really. Years? Before. Uh, 2009. All right. Um, until I gave birth to my child, so okay. 2011. Um, as a result of the relationship, I end up pregnant with a, my daughter. Um, Jermaine, uh, when, when I had the baby, I came to Chicago because I was living in Milwaukee at the time. Uh, Jermaine and his mother came to the hospital. Um, to me, it seemed like uh, it was like an instant doubt because I'm so light-skinned and he used to be uh, very chocolate. <laughs> so he was dark-skinned. So I kind of understood. The baby? My, that I, I had uh -huh. born. Is your yes. complexion or whose Yeah, she's like my, my complexion. Um, so... I kind of, it kind of threw him off, but I can, you know, he wanted doubts. He didn't want to sign a paternity test that day. He wanted mm -hmm. to get a test, which is understandable. So did you all have the understanding that you were in an exclusive relationship? Mm, Jermaine was a womanizer. <laughs> he loved women and mm -hmm. women loved him back. So I understood that about him. I didn't judge him for that. I, I probably even loved him a little more. How about you? Honestly, um, I actually was in love with Jermaine. I, um. Uh, you didn't see other people? No. Okay. No, I did not. Not in the course of the relationship. Um, once we broke up, um, okay. I was still messing with him. So he was my child's father. So. All right. Um, but uh, over. So the only the reason the question existed because of the complexion. Um, and uh, he was wishy washy. He would say. Uh, once the child was here, he would be, he'll do stuff for the child. Uh, but then he'll also. So he thought it was a possibility you were seeing someone yeah, else. Yeah, he did. Did he ever accuse you? Yeah, by the time I was impregnated, he did. He was off in another relationship and he was like, oh, that's not my baby. He but, accused you of yeah. being with someone else. Yes, he did. Did he give a person? No, never gave a person. All right. So um, I was one of those type of person that I was like, okay, well, let's figure it out. Let's go get a DNA test. Mm -hmm. They sell it at CVS. When you pick the baby up, some pampas, get a swab, and I'll send for Did he? No, he did not. Okay. Let me get some background from you, When she uh, gave birth to the baby, my son came to my house and said, Ma, come go with me, because Tiffany had the baby. So we go up to the hospital, and he said, Ma, what you think? I told him, I'm not thinking, because I wasn't there. And then my son was real close. He told me everything. He said they was in Madison, Wisconsin. They had an orgy. And she got pregnant, and she said it was his. But since they was together, he took the responsibility. Oh, because they were yeah. boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah. uh -huh. even though they but, were at the orgy right. having sex right. with various right. people. But but in the meantime, when she had the baby, we was keeping the baby. We would pick her up because she was going to work. So that was the only reason, you say? It wasn't because of the complexion? No. It was because no. of that orgy? Yeah, that's what he told me, so I wasn't there. That well, never the happened, orgy? no. Never happened. He told me they never had a Did he ever mention to you? Never knew he had an orgy. That's the first time he, I ever heard of it. He said her and him was at the, uh, in Madison, West Coast. An orgy. And they had a party. <laughs> yes. And Madison's a wild town. And she wanted to get in it, and she got in it. And when you all say he got to get up there. That's what you said. That's what you just said. Going tonight. Yeah. <laughs> So in the meantime, you know, he was still taking responsibility. I was buying the baby's pampers, and so was he. Well, well, how did you respond when he told you that? Were you taken aback that and, him and his girlfriend would uh, have participated, or did you know your son well enough to figure, oh, okay, I understand. I just I know said, you. okay, whatever. Is it yours? He said, well, my. No, I'm talking about the freaking. I was just wondering. <laughs> did, you, did you know your son was like that? I know like my that? son. You know he was like that? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe right. he, he told me 
mean, everything. We would just talk. Sometimes. How just, often did he do that sort of activity? Well, he didn't never tell me that prior to the pregnancy came up. Okay, that's so, what know, I'm talking I'm like, about. Okay, right. you know, if that's what you like, go for it. All right. You know. <laughs> so uh, anyway, when she after that, you know, I went back to the hospital. They supposed to have the DNA. I'm like, well, what's holding y'all up? Mm -hmm. He had doubts. He didn't want. He really didn't want to know. You know, right. she was stripping and. Okay. Messing around with this other guy to be in the parking lot. He told you that? Yes, he told me everything. We would just sit there and talk, right. but he still loved this baby. We would keep the baby. Okay. Is this the first time you heard this about um, your exotic dancing no, uh, and the guy was, that you were No, with? I was dancing at the time. Uh -huh. and Jermaine was messing around. But she said about the man in the parking lot. No, don't know about that, but that's new too. You never met a man in the parking I lot? I had, you know, as an exotic dancer, you have your clients, but when I was at no, work... No, I don't, because oh. I don't have an exotic dancer. <laughs> No. <laughs> you might not no, know. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, strippers, you have to they be have friendly. A right. Client. So you have particular clients that might latch on to you, be the ones that, you know, tip you the most and mm -hmm. you give conversation. Um, with that being said, Jermaine was always present. Um, my clients would even when buy you were working. While mm -hmm. I was working at the dance at the club, he would be sitting at the bar and majority of the time my clients would buy him drinks as well. <laughs> Um, I consider him uh, to be my protector, especially in that line of business. And he was a big type of guy. He was 6'2". So, you know, he was my muscle. And her son was the money holder. So anything, I would have to go to you to get my money. And I'm the one that's stripping. So that's how much love I had for him. You know, it's something different when other people tell your story. But when you tell your story, you can tell somebody this actually happened. And you say he expressed doubt to you. Yes, he expressed doubt. He was back and forth, but he loved his daughter. He he loved his daughter the day he got uh this, you know, passed away. Mm -hmm. We was out there actually watching kids go on prom and we was making plans and talking about our daughter. And, and what happened? Um later on that night, um unfortunately Jermaine got killed uh due to some gang rivals, um some beef, some old beef. Um sad to say it was people that he grew up with. He was one of those people, he knew everybody in the neighborhood and he didn't ate out of everybody's house, so everybody knew him. And it was just, you know, sad because nobody gave him a heads up. That's what I thought. You know, y'all grew up, y'all didn't, y'all know, she know more history on that, but you know, you're supposed to look, you know, give somebody a heads up. If I hear something. And you think his friends knew? They, everybody knew. You, know, you can't go nowhere in the hood and not know. Just yeah. like everybody knew who killed yeah, he them. he had a beef. That's right. what I'm saying. Yeah, everybody knew it was an old beef when the projects was up. Was he working at that time? No, no. He was hustling his little he was whatever hustling. he could he, do. Whatever mm -hmm. he can do for his job. And you were bringing home a couple of dollars, so things weren't that bad. <laughs> you want to tell me about losing your son? You know what, what Yolanda? You I was happened? with him earlier that day. There was going on prime and we took pictures. Uh -huh. So I went out, but I came back because I said, I don't feel right. Uh -huh. And when I got home, I could hear the shots, the shooting. And then the lady called me and she said, you got to come back around the corner because they didn't shot Zeus. Uh -huh. But when I came around the corner, I looked for him. I didn't see him. So when I got back around the corner, they had him laying on the mat and telling me to stay, stay back, stay back. So uh, when we got to the hospital, the detectives came out and asked me, did I, I said, I didn't see it. And everybody else said they didn't see nothing either. When he died, I went to look for her to take her in the funeral car with me. She was nowhere to be found. When we got to the funeral, she all the way in the back with the baby. And I was like, where the baby at when she did come to the front? She back there. Well, why is she back there? My peoples want to see him. So after the funeral, we had a repass and we went to my house. She still wouldn't come to the house. They had to go get her. She sent the baby. Had you been messy with her before the funeral? No, no, I keep the baby. I would no. take him to meet her before he so died. So was that a fact that you... Kind yeah, of that stayed was a, away from everyone. I did, cause I knew that that was her son, that was her baby uh -huh. son. So I knew that she was grieving, and it hurt that didn't have me. nothing to do with Hold me on. grieving. True, it hurt but you it up. was it was just me being. I don't know how to deal with death or people grieving. That ain't so the problem. I tend to push away, and I felt like you know. I'm grieving in my own thing too, so I'm a I'm a push away. I'm trying to figure it out for myself too. I lost him too. Yeah, that's tough, ma'am. Um, had you spoken to her prior to the funeral? Yes, that's a bunch of bull. What's that mean? She called me telling me uh, about the DNA, and I said, uh, okay. But in the meantime, she would bring the baby to Chicago, about 200 feet around where I live at, and wouldn't bring the baby to me. How am I know? 
how she gonna know who I am and she don't bring the baby to me. Yeah, somebody's not being uh she said I'm frank not acknowledging her open today. I'm not acknowledging her, but that's another sign that there was some right. type of mess going on. Right. And, you know, there was that's not a normal behavior between right. people right. who love each other. Well I can explain that, Why? Yon. When Zoo did that, the communication wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. So he was our mediator. You know, he was the glue because mm -hmm. I'm on one side because I'm dating him. This is his mama, so she on the other side. Once that glue disappeared, it I didn't really know how to one approach you because I know you're grieving of your son. And then two, I don't I, I really never found the words, you know what I'm saying? So when I would come over there, it seemed like I was pushing a conversation on. She haven't brought that baby to me like she's saying. Right. So as I thought, there's some uh, yeah, tension but, between the two of them. But it ain't no tension because you know you what? All deny. You back denying it again. First you'll criticize and then you'll go back and say, well, ain't nothing wrong. It's uh, not. I ain't saying about that baby nothing. I'm the one that bought that baby. Why well, I'm going to come around the corner is such and such and such and such. Right. Now, she wouldn't come around the corner. She was there. We had to have a mediator. You don't have to have a mediator unless there's a problem. Right. Well, so, you know what? It's not no let's problem move because on, I accept, I accept all, all right. kids. All, all right. my you kids. You believe that's your grandson? child, obviously. I don't know. She don't know either. You need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you are messy. <laughs> well. Yes, you are. Well, the proof is in the pudding. Let's find out. <laughs> she want to know. She doubt. And I'm, I'm, I am too. And if it's my baby, she I She don't say, doubt. Yes, she do. She, I, what would I'm doing? I got proof that they didn't doubt it because they put it in her name. It's misspelled, but it's, it's in her. It's obituary. I got pictures oh, of Oh, that's my son. I'm going to put on the bitch where because he was claiming her. Right. The bitch where we ain't talking about nothing. We talking about this DNA. I'm ready for it. Let's do it. Go and get the results. Who church did you all attend if you did or you? Grady, my son and I. You, on said, that, you said that too quick. <laughs> yeah, like you come. You act like you you didn't watch my show. You know, judge might ask me about church. <laughs> You didn't, you didn't rehearse that. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Uh -huh. You remind me of some of the ladies I grew up around. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's good news for everybody. You autographed. Let me see. Can I see you? Yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> well, she can bring the baby to me and let her know who I am first. And then we can bond and I do her like I do my grandkids keep. You know, when she come in town, she can come stay with me. I'm just glad it's over with. And like she said, she can get, a, get to know her grandma. So it's time.